hello and welcome uh, this is a short really short tutorial <coughs> where I'm going to show you how you can import the DM files into the Carlson software it's pretty simple huh <coughs> now all you need I'm going to give you two different links over here the first link that's uh, from the geo community website it's a very popular one and you can get all kinds of free DM data and I'm going to give you another website another link and you need to download that is the ts2dm.exe file and just uh, download to the same folder where you are keeping your DM data to use <coughs> those DM data I'll, I'll so, show you why okay well let's first go to the first link which is the geo community website let's copy this and let's do this okay here we are let me log in you have to have your login and password to download any kind of data in here now <coughs> now I'm logged in if I go back to the page you see that I can they have this USGS DMs and they have all those different U US states I'm just going to talk about the US right now <coughs> uh, and as I deal with coal again let's go to West Virginia and here are all the counties they are listed in West Virginia say you are working in Nicholas County okay so you go there and there are all kinds of data not all data are, are completely free but the digital elevation model data are so I'm just gonna click the top DM link <coughs> once I do that in Nicholas County there are a whole bunch of quads so you see our 10 15 whatever quotes you have now say you are working where say uh, Queenwood okay so in the Queenwood you go there and and you see the download button over here just click on download and now you are in this page where it's saying that hmm, you have the the DM data in 30 meter grid sometimes they have a 10 meter grid too so let's check another link and see if we can find a better grid let's do Herald let's go there no I don't well let's just go back to our Nicholas then or Queenwood then and just use that file now I have no preference okay so just click on that file and I'm just gonna download it to wherever um, I have a folder called DM file and this is just what am I downloading let me see this is I forgot the name that's the Queenwood okay Queenwood okay I'm just downloading the data so just bear with me for a second uh, go back to my folder here's my DM files and I'm just gonna create a new folder call it Queenwood and under Queenwood let's save this file okay now go to that folder and unzip this file so you have another folder under which you have all kinds of DDF files now they are not DEM files they are a whole bunch of DDF files which you have to combine and create uh, one DEM file for the whole quad 
now this is where my second link link comes in so if you go to the second link and paste it out on the link it's downloading a small really small exe file and you want to save it inside your folder where you have all the ddf files now here it is now to join everything and to make a dm file you just double click on that and just run it enter first four characters of the base is dts file which would be 8673 for my guess 8673 just hit enter enter base output file name and this is for quinwood so i'll just add i m w double o t and hit enter and here we go now you have a dem file for the quinwood now go to your console and just create a new file again uh, and set a new name uh, under quinwood so just I'm just gonna call it Queenwood and say it's a 2000 feet scale and do next and just say next okay so now I have a file where I can import the data and now to import your surface you do you have to go to grid this is kind of a tricky place if you have a DEM file so you can import it but you gotta go to grids and then go to grid file utilities and then here you have the import grid you have to click on that and here is the option to import a DEM file click on that and now go to your Quinwood and find out the DEM file that you just created using the other software open it up so it's saying all that then hit open now it's giving you the option and uh, some information about about the file and we know it's a UTM zone 17 northern hemisphere and it's giving you the minimum and maximum elevations and elevation unit and speed the first thing we know that it's a UTM so click on UTM it's a zone 17 so click on that and and choose your zone 17 in there unit is an US feet and that's it and then just hit ok and what it's saying it's saying it's saved in some with some weird name it has actually created a surface grid but I wanna save the surface grid as Quinwood and I wanna save it to the same folder Where is the same folder? Circuit learning EM files, Quinwood. Uh, yeah, right here. Save as Quinwood. Save. Okay. Now I can exit this file. So now what you can do, you can go to your. Hmm, draw no view and then uh, surface 3d viewer and choose your queen queenwood grd and here we go you have our digital elevation model and it's gridded looks nice it's, it's actually not that great because i have a 30 by 30 grid if i had a 10 by 10 it would have been lot better now you can uh, again can uh, do some vertical scale exaggerations and that's how it's it would look like if you do stuff like that and you can like move this and look at the terrain and do all kinds of stuff make real good presentation make a movie uh, whatever you like okay thing that I really like to do I once I have this grid file again I'm, I'll, I'm gonna, gonna go to the grids and do a contour from the grid files and double click 
double enter then select my queenwood file open it up and this is a contour so I'll do queenwood contours and let's do 40 feet contour intervals and queenwood index interval in every 200 feet that's fine to uh, labeling for the queenwood contours topography contours and then hit ok it's asking for me starting depth I just hit enter and enter uh, it's just running a whole bunch of comments and it will take just a minute to give you the output and it says it has inserted 137958 contour vertices now all you gotta do is Z and E and here we are so now you have a nice oh it's not really really nice I have seen beta but but at least before we started we had nothing now we have a, a file with all those contours with a Z value attached to it and we created that in like 15 to 20 minutes isn't that wonderful well uh, in this exercise let's do let's do something else to uh, remember I I have shown you how to import the points now let's say we're going to import the same points that we had before but when we when we did that uh, our coordinates they were all made up so they were not not really like real life coordinates let's go to that file point data so you see that's 20 480 480 these are not like real coordinates and I just click OK and here we are we have imported the points but see that it's everything else got messed up so I un un z uh, uh, undo my import so that my points are gone here is my problem but if you go to points and then to a uh, list points it's still saying that I have 11 points in there okay so before you do anything else if you ever make any mistake importing any points what I would recommend you do to screw points to the list points then to create a point group uh, all how do I do a point group it's not showing let's see yes everything is in there how do we do a point group let's let's try let's erase points screen group number group but I have not created any group but I gotta create a group let's try it again point group Point group manager here. Yeah. That's where I want to go. Okay, click, create, then include all. Then just save whatever name you like. Then do a save changes, and it's everything is saved under the new group. Now you can delete your points. You have to go to the erase points, and then it's asking for screen group and number. I'll do group, and this group came up. I hit OK. It's asking delete points from the coordinate file yes delete point symbols yes are you sure you want to delete points 1 to 11 from coordinate file yes so now it's all gone now if I go back to points and do a list again to all I have nothing so that's kind of tricky what I wanted to show you how to import those points and then actually move or translate those points to real life coordinate but I'm getting late so that's probably for a tutorial next time. Well, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you. Bye.